What's up racers, Racer Beast here and welcome back to another CSR2 video. Now the Turzo Flash event has started and in this video we are going to discuss about it, okay? Uh, we are going to have a look at how good the Turzo is, uh, how difficult is the Flash event itself, how many resources do you need uh, in order to finish the event and in the end is it really worth it or not, okay? Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. Now first things first. Uh, you can get the Turzo for $20, um, okay, unfortunately it's a paid car, yes, but in my opinion, um, if there is any car in this whole update, uh, which is actually worth spending real money on, um, it's the Turzo, okay, and that's because um, it's a very nice car, uh, it's actually one of the fastest cars uh, in the game, even rivaling the Pontiac Fiero from the Fast and Furious update. And even if you don't want to go that far maxing it out, um, it's still uh, very good uh, in live racing, doesn't matter uh, which lobby you take it into, okay? It's a super low performance point, high EVO car. I have tested this uh, in a few lobbies and it has done really well for me, okay? Uh, now, uh, as I said before, uh, the Terzo is available for real money. There are four packages uh, for this car, but obviously you will go for the uh, cheaper one, which is uh, for $20. Um, once you get the car, obviously you are going to take it into the event. Now, uh, let's talk about the flash event a little bit. Now, the flash event is a 30 race event and there is just one lock-in to use which is the Turzo itself, okay? So you will need to get the car first even before you can get started with the flash event. It's kind of a prerequisite. Now, it is not mandatory as such to finish the flash event. I mean, you have paid real money for the Turzo. So the car is already yours irrespective of whether you finish the flash event or not. You don't need to worry about that. But regardless, it is still nice if you can get those additional rewards which the flash event is offering you. Especially if you look at race number 15 and race number 25, you will notice that each of those races are offering you one stage 6 part for the Turzo. So the event as a whole is offering you two stage 6 upgrades for the Turzo, okay? Now the good thing is, uh, you can finish first 25 races on a stage 5 only setup. Uh, things start getting difficult for uh, last 5 races, okay, where you will need few stage 6 parts. And I am actually on race number 30 and uh, the final opponent time is somewhere around a 7.3 or a 7.4. So we'll actually need somewhere around 4 to 5 stage 6 parts uh, if you want to finish the entire event and uh, beat race number 30 as well, okay? Now the flash event is giving you like uh, one free grade pull per day and the event is there for 8 days more. So you can get one or two stage 6 parts out of the free credits and the loyalty and adding this count to the two stage 6 parts that you have already got out of the event, you will be having like three or four stage 6 uh, parts uh, by the end of the flash event, okay? Now you may need one more stage 6 uh, depending upon what you have already in order to finish the event all the way till race 30. So in case if you are planning to beat the final opponent, be prepared to spend like 15 or 20 bucks more on the paid crates, okay? So uh, just a heads up there. So my final take on all of this is that at least getting the Turzo is really worth it. Now whether or not you want to go the extra way and get those additional stage 6 to beat race 30 uh, is up to you. But even if you have the Terzo at stage 5 only, you can still tune it to make it dominant in life, okay? So it's really a great car and as I said before, um, if there is any car you want to spend real money on in this whole update, it is the Terzo, okay? So with that being said, um, this is Racer Beast signing off, see you in another video. Bye.